Hello and welcome to the fifth lecture of Dynamics of Machine. Here we are going to study the principle of compound pendulum. In our previous lecture we have seen the mechanism of a simple pendulum and we specially studied that simple pendulum so that we can understand this compound pendulum. So let's start with the definition of a compound pendulum that what is a compound pendulum. A compound pendulum is also a pendulum but in, in case of a compound pendulum we cannot identify a string or a uh, concentrated mass instead of that whenever we are having a distributed mass mass and if we are suspending this body from any point and if we are oscillating this body the body will behave like a pendulum but this is not a simple pendulum because we are not having a fixed position of total mass instead of that the mass is distributed so this kind of pendulum where a distributed mass oscillate about a point is known as a compound pendulum and this concept is very important in many uh, dynamic system because we make an equivalent dynamic system considering the, considering the compound pendulum philosophy as well as this compound pendulum is also used to find the moment of inertia of different uh, complex shaped body we will see both the parts uh, slowly slowly when we will see the our uh, different uh, topics of the dynamic forces of engine component so now i believe that now you have understood that that this compound pendulum has a clear cut difference from a simple pendulum in case of a simple pendulum you can find a string which is weightless and a mass which is a point mass but instead of that in the compound pendulum we have distributed mass and distributed mass is suspended from a point and somewhere in inside the body there will be the center of mass of the body when i will give oscillation to the body it will oscillate and the oscillation can be calculated by understanding the principle or the mathematics of a compound pendulum so now let's write try to write the equation of motion of a compound pendulum so here i am showing instead of having our irregular shape i am explaining everything by considering a bar like body so this is my uh, rod like body and here i am assuming the centroid of the body which is suspended from point o and i am giving an initial deflection so that this rod is oscillating about point o and at an instant of time when the rod is moving in this direction it is having uh, an acceleration of theta double dot a velocity of theta and angular displacement theta theta dot and theta so now when again i will make the free body diagram of my system i will be able to find that there will be two component of the gravitational force mg one will be along the length of uh, length of the rod that would be mg cos theta and another force will be mg sin theta which is exactly same we did in case of a simple pendulum and again we are going to write the equation of motion for the system using the newton's law for writing the newton's law what i need to do i have to find the moment of all the forces or if i will say it is the lambert principle first i have to find all the moment and then all the moment will be going to be balanced by the i theta double dot so if uh, i will write the equation of motion of this body this is the position of the centroid and if i am assuming that this is the position of the motion so this distance is defined by a term og this is the distance between the point of suspension or the point of rotation from the centroid of the body please understand here i am not interested in the total length of the body instead of that i am interested between the distance uh, of uh, the point of suspension and the centroid of the body so when i will write the equation for this system considering the same philosophy that in case of simple pendulum we write the equation by saying that i theta double dot plus m g l theta is equal to zero and why this theta because we assume that theta is very very small so that sine theta can be written as theta so my moment at this point and the i alpha will finally give me this expression if you are interested to find how we have calculated this you can see the previous video of simple pendulum so the same philosophy i am applying here and i am getting this expression which is m g into o g theta is equal to 0 but here this i is not about the centroid this i is about this point means that if this is my rod 
and this this is let's rod and this is the it is oscillating in this direction so one axis which is passing perpendicular to this point perpendicular to the plane about this axis i am interested for this i so i not is the moment of inertia which is perpendicular to this plane you can see this that i am showing here one three dimensional picture here i am showing that this is my plane of oscillation this is my bar suspended from this point normally we suspended bar using a knife edge knife edge body so that there is a line contact and that that we consider that the losses will be minimum because of the friction and uh, therefore we consider this knife edge uh, member here now the system will oscillate in this plane and if i will see carefully i can find that this would be my centroidal axis and if i will write the equation of moment of inertia of this body about its centroidal axis i can say that it will be mk square this mk square is general expression particularly for this rod i can say that this icg will be ml square by 12 which we have studied in our previous classes but i am here i am just writing the general expression so moment of inertia about this axis can be written as mk square where k will be radius of gyration now i am interested about moment of inertia about point of rotation or the axis of rotation so i have to apply the principle of parallel axis theorem and then i will get the moment of inertia of, of this bar about this axis that would be icg plus mass of the bar and the square of the distance moved so distance moved is equal to og so my moment of inertia about the axis of rotation will be icg plus mog square so when i will put this value back to my expression my expression will become icg plus mog square will come here and when i will rearrange everything this would be my final expression so this is the expression i have calculated applying the physical principle or the dlm or newton's law and this expression will give me an hint when i will compare it with a simple harmonic motion expression so in case of a simple harmonic motion we know that x double dot plus omega square x is equal to 0 is the expression of simple harmonic motion so when i compare my expression of a compound pendulum with the standard expression of a simple harmonic motion system i will be able to find that this expression will tell me the omega square and omega square is nothing but omega is your angular frequency or angular velocity in radians per second so here i will get the expression of omega which will be g into og divided by k square plus og square when i will rearrange the term and i will break this omega into 2 pi by t i will get the expression for the time period of a compound pendulum now what is the what is physical use of this expression so let me explain you that suppose i am having a body of one irregular shape but i know the centroid of this body and i am interested to find the moment of inertia of this body about an axis perpendicular to the plane of this body so i don't know the moment of inertia of this body about this axis this i is unknown to me so what i will do i will make a small hole on the body and i will suspend this body about this axis after suspending this body i will give a oscillation to my body so the body will oscillate and i will measure the time period using the stopwatch or any physical mean so once i will get this time period suppose i am getting a time period of value 2 millisecond for this or let's consider that the my time period is 0.8 second for this body once i will get the time period i know this formula i know the position of the centroid as i said in the beginning that the position of centroid should be known to us once i know the position of the centroid i will be able to physically measure this distance let this is x so in my formula that og will become x i will put my x value which is known to me i will put this uh, time period here i will put g g is nothing but 9.8 and finally i will be able to get the value of k k is the radius of gyration of this body about this axis so if i will be able to measure the weight of this body i will be able to get the moment of inertia using this expression so this is the main use of the principle of compound pendulum 
where we can get the moment of inertia of body of complex shape at the same time this philosophy is also applied to find the uh, moment of inertia in case of uh, engine component particularly for the connecting rod connecting rod is a complex shaped body and if we will suspend the connecting rod from a point and if we know the centroid of the connecting rod we will measure this distance x we will give an oscillation to my connecting rod i will measure the time period and i will get the moment of inertia of the connecting rod about its centroid which further we use when we make the dynamic model of complete system thank you